102.3 FM. Welcome to the Fabulous Lifestyle Radio Show, where we talk about food, fashion, finance, and foundations of life. We are live on KCAA Radio Broadcasting Network, 1050 AM, 102.3 and 106.5 FM. KCAA is affiliated with CNBC, NBC News, and NBC Sports. We are sponsored by Sheltered Studios, Fire Up Connect, and Building Solid Foundation. Welcome to the Fabulous Lifestyle Radio Show. This is your host, Marie Antoinette Waite. And today we are going to talk about finance. And I have an amazing guest for you here live on KCAA. And we have Jasmine Wilwa, who is a note investor. And I think she's going to tell us more about investing. And this is really exciting for me because I, I got to know uh, Jasmine and she was uh in town when we were at the wilson creek winery and she was one of the finest women in real estate and we did a lot of amazing things over there so jasmine welcome to the fabulous lifestyle radio thank you so much thanks for having me how are you today i am i am good i'm excited that you're here because you know we had such a great time at the wilson creek winery uh during the reality rally event um how did you like that event that we had just, just, just amazing, as you said, fabulous group of people, exposed me to a whole new world, let me tell you that, right? So just getting to meet all these celebrity um, reality show uh, members and then seeing, you know, a lot of them live nearby me. So, I mean, it's just amazing, just exposed me to a whole new world. But yeah, the charity, again, that was probably the most impressive thing to learn more about the charity. So Michelle's house was an awesome place for me to just kind of learn and start spreading the word about. Yes, and you know, for you out there who's listening, uh, the reality rally that we were talking about was uh, uh, founded by Jillian Larson from the city of Temecula. She was one of the uh, survivors um, cast uh, way back. And, uh, and then she brought all the reality stars in town. And Jasmine was able to interview some of the celebrities. It was exciting. And that was so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just just again the personalities and just new friends in my backyard. So just trust me, I made some great relationships. So thank you again for the opportunity. Anytime. But Jasmine, I'm really curious about your background. Um, can you tell us a little bit, uh, you know, something about where you came from, and how you got started with the business that you're in, and uh, so so share us that information, please. Yeah, no, I'd love to. Um, my story is uh, a little unique in some respects, but then a lot of you could probably resonate with the uh, non-silver uh, spoon kind of thing. So definitely didn't come from uh, a silver spoon in my mouth, but originally from New York. Um, so born, born in the Bronx, so end up growing up around 43rd and 10th. So uh, also known as Hell's Kitchen, um, Midtown, um, and Manhattan Project area. So I grew up around there in New York City. My family wanted to, like a lot of New Yorkers, especially at that time, get out and get away and seek something, you know, West Coast, palm tree, like a little more calm. Moved us to California. I've been in San Diego since fifth grade, believe it or not. And just fell in love with the place, you know. Excuse me, who could not fall in love with the place? So fell in love with San Diego. When I was 11 years old, people, here's what's funny. I saw a movie called Trading Places. For those of you who can resonate with that one, I saw that movie. It just came out. And it really got me thinking about becoming a stockbroker. So from that moment on, just very much like Marie, very just passionate once you find something to go after and just went and became a stockbroker and I worked on Wall Street at age 22, right? So that was amazing. Got a degree in economics, undergrad in industrial organization and a minor, I'm sorry, (laughs) minor in industrial organization and an MBA. So wow. um, did a lot as far as education and then highly respect the education field. So that's a little bit about my background. That is incredible. You've got a lot of experience uh, on the uh, on the financial business. Okay, so tell me, um, what is what is this, um, you know, uh, outfit that you have, the pink hat and the... <laughs> I love, I would like to know what the, the concept came out of. <laughs> oh, that's that's not as fun a story as you as you think, but the greatest part about it is that it definitely speaks to the uniqueness of myself. Um, I don't really fit in, in East Coast too much because I've come to the West Coast and calmed down a lot. 
and as well as the, so this cowboy hats, those, those I'm off when I go home. Um, and also I love being out in California with raised around horses and things like that. But this, okay. this, this, this house hat actually comes from, I used to work with, I will, without naming them, I used to work with some guys who had a TV show um, as far as flipping and things like that on HGTV. And so I worked the back end of their, um, their show, you know, everyone has a seminar. Yeah. And so the guys would always rush me on stage and I'm like, my hair's not done, my hair's not done. And so <laughs> finally the hat became the medium where I could still in a hat and get on stage and keep moving. So that's the truth about the cowboy hat and where it comes from and how it became. I see, now I understand. Okay, so you had some acting experiences in the past. Uh, and I think that explains why when you were uh, interviewing some of the celebrities at the Wilson Creek uh, Winery, you were amazing. I mean, it was like you're you're like a pro when you were interviewing them and everything. So that was really cool to, to no, watch didn't. you, and and uh, you did so well. And I just was I was just very impressed. Uh, so let's talk about your business, uh, Jasmine. Um, so you have all this uh, education on the economics and uh, stock market and all of that. So what got you into the business that you're in right now? Yeah, um, as always, um, just life right so i had <coughs> excuse me i went just got finished working on wall street they blew up my building <coughs> sorry i i had a job um working on wall street and right after they blew up the building uh i just like everyone else my life was thrown upside down and so i decided to go back home to san diego and work in traditional real estate it didn't work out too much for me not because i didn't close deals and make money but it just wasn't you know getting me motivated in the morning so um, I started a club called the Lady Landlords of San Diego. That grew substantially. We had numerous of, in, other, in other cities and states. And I realized at that point, um, I was doing out-of-state investing. So I was doing turnkey models okay. in Indiana and Jackson, Mississippi. So those were my two markets. And I was getting investors together and we were investing out-of-state at the time. As you can tell, we made some really good money. Things have done nothing but gone up since then. Okay. But um, yeah, during the time I had the club, I had some gentlemen walk in. And um, these guys were node investors. They had hedge funds. They had funds that they ran. And so these guys um, started talking to me and then they were interested in me getting involved with them and what have you. So somehow along the way, uh, within six, eight months later, I decided I want to get involved with them. I started shadowing them and learning more about mortgage node investing. Mm -hmm. And so the funny thing is, is that we're all exposed to this on so many different levels. But once we hear about it from the other side, it starts making more sense about where the money comes from and how it's been all around us this whole time. Wow, that is incredible. So, um, so now that you're doing note investing, I, I see that you're very passionate about it. Um, and, and I also see that backdrop that you have, it says naked notes. Uh, can you tell us more about that? Oh, I'd love to, yeah. So that is our free educational podcast that we put out there. Passion is like an understatement, right? This is like my entire passion project. So for the last 10 years, I've started and owned an educational company called the Note Assistance Program. And so what we wanted to do is be that place where you can go and actually take action. So no more books or 47 page manuals or, you know, cold calling sessions where you can come over and just actually take action. So we started a five uh, paths to education as far as what you would do to get educated on mortgage loan investing. If you wanted to learn about it on a loan level, uh, loan level asset uh, base, this is what you would do. And you can first start with our podcast, which is Naked Notes Podcast. that will teach you about what is a note, why we invest in notes. And so again, from an asset level, you're able to look at it. Whereas a lot of the, the portfolio manager and stuff, they buy in bulk. So the first thing is figure out what is the individual asset that everyone's dealing with. And you can start there with our free educational podcast, Naked Notes Podcast. Okay, so the podcast can give a lot of great information in terms of note investing. Exactly. I see. Now, let me ask you this question. I mean, we have a couple of minutes right now, uh, but I do want to ask this question. Why note investing versus just doing a traditional investing? What's the difference between the two? Well, note investing and mortgage note in, in, in particular, right? So there's a lot of notes out there. It's the first thing we've got to open our mind to, like the student loans, anything that has a is backed by or is, has paper, it's backed by something, that's a note. So there's car notes out there. There's so many different notes, but I specifically invest in mortgage notes. And so why do I find that to be a lot more alluring to me? Well, one, it's one of the most pa passive 
truly passive investing um, vehicles I've ever found. So um, this, this next thing to close to this would maybe be tax deed investing, right? But after being a landlord and getting sick and tired of, you know, dealing with the tenants, toilets and the trash, um, and after learning that the money in the bond market is kind of a little too slow for me, this has become a truly, truly one of the most passive ways for me to get some really, really good life-changing opportunities when it comes to returns. So um, the second reason I want to tell you is that this is what the banks are doing. So once you start thinking, I can be a bank and start getting that attitude, you start realizing that these returns that these banks got are not, that these banks are getting are not just reserved for them. And there's a reason why when you go to these big cities, they own the biggest buildings and the most expensive real estate. These returns are phenomenal and we all deserve a crack at it, especially when it comes to our, our retirement funds. So that's what we're here to talk about is how we can all get a shot at expediting and really giving a boost to our IRAs. I see. Okay. Well, I have a lot of questions for you still, but we're going to take a commercial break today. Um, okay. And uh, for you out there, don't go away. Um, Jasmine is coming back and I'm going to have more questions for her and we'll, we'll be right back. Okay. Fire up connect is the most innovative business networking group supporting and collaborating with a dozen of small businesses that are interested in building and establishing strong business connections, hosting educational live seminars while carrying out business and community driven projects, as well as marketing programs as a part of its membership program. Fire Up Connect also offers virtual assistance with a wide range of services including inbound customer support, chat support, appointment setting and email management, graphic designing video editing, web design and development, social media marketing, e-commerce solution, content writing and much more. For more information, head on over to www.fireupconnect.com. Fire Up Connect, helping success stories unfold every day. Hi, this is Steve Matley. As a construction professional, I know the importance of selecting the right contractor for the job. Power Solar employs only professional installers. Power Solar will provide a knowledgeable consultant to help analyze your current electric bill, identify site placement, and correct solar technology for your home. Contact KCAA producer at gmail.com for a free financial savings proposal with no obligation or call 951. 951- 551-1350 and ask for Kim. Again, that's KCAA producer at gmail.com or 951-551-1350 and ask for Kim. I love how New School is able to help me greatly with my career because they actually have experience working in the field. The greatest thing about New School is the fact that there are so many different disciplines which allows you to really understand and get a good insight into different types of design. I think it's that whole changing mindset of what design can really do for a city and this is kind of the place to be. This environment cultivates creative thinking. Welcome back to the Fabulous Lifestyle Radio Show and this is Marie Waite, your host. Uh, we were talking to Jasmine Wilwa in regards to note investing and so Jasmine, um, I know that from our uh, previous segment, you were talking about why you want, you preferred note investing versus traditional investing. Now, um, my question to you is that um, when you, when you have, when you do note investing, what kind of uh, ROI are we looking at uh, compared to the traditional investing? Well, again, it's, it's really determines what you mean by traditional investing. So if you're talking about flipping homes and okay. going out there and doing arduous work like that, that's one thing. And so when I compare it to that as passive, if you talk about investing in stocks uh, like NASDAQ, which I'm very familiar with, um, you know, from that standpoint, unless you're actually up every day and some people are, right, chasing, chasing the markets, then that's again, arduous in my opinion and things that I would do much in my youth, not much now. Or, <clears throat> excuse me, if you're talking about just collecting stocks that pay dividends, right, that can okay. be seen as very passive, but those returns are not as lucrative, and you also don't have as much say in what happens. So that's one of the things that I look at when I think about the different asset classes, but there are tons of them out there. Really, what I'm thinking about is talking about alternative assets. When you go out there and start thinking about what other alternative assets there are out there, mortgage zone investors is at the top of my list, and that's one of the reasons why the returns, if you're looking at performing notes, can go anywhere from about 8% all the way to about 15 or higher, depending if you buy a non-performing note 
and turning into a performing note, right? So we buy these notes at discounts and it really depends on how much work you're willing to put into it. And by work, if you do it our way, it's just a few phone calls dealing with the vendors and the third party people that we hire to take care of all the heavy lifting. Okay, so you mentioned performing and non-performing notes. Can you explain that further for our audience, what means? Oh, wonderful, yeah, definitely. You just to get back to the basics, when I approach banks, there are a few reasons and we have a whole podcast that dedicated to why banks sell notes. A lot of you are thinking a bank would sell a note. Why would they do that? Especially if I'm been paying. But on that same token, you've all witnessed that, right? A lot of you have not missed a payment and still get a note in the mail saying, send your payment elsewhere. So why would banks sell notes? For many different reasons, to get some of this interest at, uh, risk off of their, their uh, portfolio because they actually hold notes as well. So there's many reasons all the way down to people are not paying. So first thing I'll say is if you're paying and you're one of those people who are still wondering why they would sell, there are many reasons, but that's called performing note where the person is paying as per contract and returns are just rolling in, right? And at times you usually have anywhere between 20 to 30 years left on those contracts when we buy them, right? Because these are 30 year mortgage notes in most circumstances. If you are not paying, if you are paying every other month or not consistently or anywhere between 120 days beyond, this is what we're going to call a non-performing note, and we have the right to start moving towards foreclosure options, right, and loss mitigation options with you. And so this is where that will be classified non-performing. And so we're buying paper out there. I think one of the most uh, recent and most successful notes that I bought was out in Newark, New Jersey, believe it or not, in the middle of the pandemic, okay, talk about crazy, non-performing note where the borrower hadn't paid for over 10 years. So this is what we're doing and taking off the bank's books and happy to do it because it helps the communities as well. Uh, that is incredible. Now, let me ask you this question, Jasmine. If uh, I'm a new investor and I'm uh, going to do note investing, what are the things that I need to know getting into this business? I mean, what are the, some of the challenges that you can name and how are you able to overcome some of those challenges? Well, some of the first challenges are understanding what waters you're looking to venture into. So as much as it seems that this is a uh, uh, wonderful opportunities and the returns are great, with those returns come great risk, all the way down from the beginning where barriers to entry come in. So there are a lot of uh, just the best way to say it, when you come into the banks, uh, banking sector, you're going to be swimming with a lot of sharks, right? So when it comes to finding out where you're going to get the best education from, that's going to be key. Because a lot of people have these very expensive programs. I would believe that ours is fairly priced. You can check us out at noteassistanceprogram.com. But these very expensive programs that not only eat into your opportunity to purchase a note and how much note you buy, but also they lack the substance that you need to get across the board. So instead of joining a program like ours that is going to strictly focus on getting you acclimated to what it's like to buy and purchase a note immersed in this community, we have people teaching you how, for the first two weeks of your program, how to build websites like, and things like that and how to make cold calls. Instead of that, you need to find someone that's going to focus on the basic core um, matrix of what's going to make you successful. So that's the first thing. The second thing is making sure that you have access to inventory. So inventory is something that plagues the entire industry. How can we get these notes? And the reason why they're so sacred is not just because of the returns, because they are held by bankers. And so it's a small community of people who give it to their friends. So relationships are very key. So when you're new, it's very important to get yourself with a community that can give you access to and show you where to acquire these notes and to do them at a level that you're capable of doing with your bankroll. All right. Well, um, why, why are you, I guess my question to you is more on the personal side, Jasmine. Yeah. Why are you so passionate about this type of business? I mean, I know that there's a lot of different, you know, ways to, uh, to create, you know, uh, income and right. create they got Bitcoin now. financial you know, situation. Why is this uh, the option for me? And I'm trying to understand uh, the reason behind it. Well, it's all about your risk and uh, adverseness and how, how comfortable you are with that, right? Because you're right. There's stuff like Bitcoin, which, you know, you're going up a million dollars a day, you're going down a million dollars a day. So some of us are seasoned enough to, to be past that, right? I've seen it all, especially as someone who went to Wall Street during the dot-com era, right? So we were selling companies that didn't even have any financials. So as far as what you're looking for and what makes sense to you, mortgage loan investing makes sense to me and the people that I'm talking to because we all live in homes 
And some of us, pray tell, actually have mortgages, right? So we understand this more than we know. And so when you get into this education uh, class that we teach, we have a lot of two-day workshops. The next one will be in Los Angeles. But check us out. We teach four times a year. When you get into our classes, it's all going to start to resonate because you're actively involved with this. This is real life to us, especially us women. So when it comes to why this class over others, it's really about it being a, a part of our lives right now. America is run by debt. Debt is what drives our economy. So imagine learning how to sit on that other side of the fence and imagine being invited to those different type of tables. So learning to work with and be a creditor is very important, at least to know about the mindset. So that's the second thing I want to tell you about the empowerment that comes. But for me personally, why I'm inspired is I have seen how this has personally transformed many of my members' lives, attitudes, and just financial trajectory. So that's really what gets me up here every day, just getting excited and pumped to talk to anyone who will listen. Wow. And can you, can you share us a story of one, one of your, um, you know, one of the people that you have helped and how it transformed their, their life from this? I think the best thing for me to do is, again, refer you to this podcast here because we have okay. member spotlights, which will actually highlight many different members. But uh, yeah, I definitely can give you a few. A lot of the people that work for our company are members who now are full-time investors who are doing it and teaching it. So you, everyone from Harrison, our lead trainer, to a lot of the people that you're going to hear on the podcast, EJ Wells out in Michigan, so if I can shout him out. These are people who are either now doing their passion, which is being firefighters and now not worried about whether how much, you know, the unions are paying them and what they're fighting for, but doing it comfortably because the retirement is taken care of all the way down to people who have actually left their jobs. Right. Um, and so this is what uh, I want you guys to understand that there's an opportunity here, no matter what level you want to get involved to just start living more comfortably about your future. And that's what this is about is making sure that we all can chase our passion projects. Okay, I've heard about Harrison's story, and it was really incredible because he was in the military, and um, he got introduced to you, and uh, somehow really is very passionate about this whole note investing and working with you, Jasmine. Actually, you know, is a big deal. So I, I wanted you know the listeners to understand why Harrison is also part of the radio show for Real Men in Real Estate, or actually yeah. it was the International Wealth Builders Association and is really educating people on the note investing. And you were there as a guest too. Um, that's why I'm very curious about it, Jasmine, uh, that people have so many different opportunities to really change their lives and to have a fabulous lifestyle. And oh, I yeah. think, uh, you know, having a fabulous lifestyle is getting themselves educated on different ways of making a uh, good living, right? Yes, yes. And so let's talk about that, right? Um, Harrison is doing the radio show and his story is phenomenal, particularly because he was in the military, but also because of the age at which he is. You know, if a lot of us always say, if we would have known this at this age and et cetera, et cetera, well, this is a young man who reminds me that there are people that are younger who can grasp some of these concepts. And not only are there people at that age, but also at the other age of the spectrum. So as long as you have the capacity and the willingness, you can make this happen. Well, this is a gentleman whose father is involved with the mortgage zone investing now as well, uh, well, because of what success we've had. And he is now spreading the gospel because of the success he's had, right? So yeah. it's just about what place you are in your life as far as being receptive to this stuff. But if you're ready, we're ready to take you there. Okay. Well, um, let me ask you this question. So can anybody get into this? Do they really have to quit their job or do, can they do it on the side while they're working for somebody else? Oh, a hundred percent. Yeah. I think one of the beautiful things about uh, going back to the Harrison story is that he worked for a year while in Australia and still investing in mortgage notes. And so does his girlfriend at the time. Right. And so a lot of people, it's, it's, you know, since the inception of this business, I can say I've successfully helped about 30 people leave their jobs. But a lot of people, more than that, are those ones that are now walking into the office with more confidence where not only are they getting the company matching their, their retirement funds, but they know that their outside funds that they've rolled over from other jobs are working twice as hard and delivering twice as much to their retirement funds. So when the day comes that they may want to retire, they may be able to push that up sooner right? They may be at least walk into the job with a lot more confidence knowing that their retirement goals are being met. And so this is what I really want everyone to have is that peace of mind that is often just awarded to that 1%, right? We don't all have to have that 1% money, but that peace of mind that they have, we all deserve that. 
Wow. So, um, so whatever age you're in, you can get into this business with no problem. Yeah. I mean, okay. <laughs> definitely no age limitations. I think again, the mindset's going to be the most thing. So we actually have a podcast that talks to you about your mindset and what you need to do to just take that hat on in that proverbial hat from a debtor to a creditor. Right. It's really, it was even tough for me, believe it or not, because I was just, they do such a good job to construct a wall between the two so that you continue to understand and want to pay debt and never really want to get on the other side or even think that you can. So just letting you know that that education piece that you mentioned, Maria, is so key to your success. But we all know that no matter what you get involved with. Okay. Now, what is the best way to get a hold of you, Jasmine? Best way to get a hold of me. So you can go to our website for live chat, which is www.noteassistance program.com. So note assistance program.com. You can also dial us or text us at 855-541-6683. That's 855-541-6683. So that's the best way to get in touch with us. And uh, we look forward to hearing from you. Can you repeat that number again for just for the third time, if that's okay? Of course. Yeah. 855-541-6683. All right. There you go. Um, well, thank you so much, Jasmine. This is such an eye opening for a lot of people, you know, again, you know, it's, it's always good to, to provide all kinds of uh, educational information for people where they can learn how to improve their lifestyle. And uh, here in the fabulous lifestyle, we, we want to make sure that we open up all kinds of great information for them. And uh, we want them to be successful and having you here as a guest is uh is a blessing for all of us here thank you so much for your time thank um, you. yeah so anyway uh hopefully we can have you back again in the future for in our future shows and for all the listeners uh make sure that you tune in to kcaa radio uh you can also find us in amazon fire tv roku tv and also on YouTube. Um, and again, this is Marie Antoinette Waite. I am your host at the Fabulous Lifestyle Radio. Make sure that you always tune in every Sunday at uh, 2 o'clock p.m. here at the Fire Up Connect radio talk show. We'll see you next time. Fire Up Connect is the most innovative business networking group, supporting and collaborating with a dozen of small businesses that are interested in building and establishing strong business connections hosting educational live seminars while carrying out business and community-driven projects, as well as marketing programs as a part of its membership program. FireUp Connect also offers virtual assistance with a wide range of services including inbound customer support, chat support, appointment setting and email management, graphic designing video editing, web design and development, social media marketing, e-commerce solution, content writing and much more. For more information, head on over to www.fireupconnect.com. Fire Up Connect, helping success stories unfold every day. Hi, this is Steve Matley. As a construction professional, I know the importance of selecting the right contractor for the job. Power Solar employs only professional installers. Power Solar will provide a knowledgeable consultant to help analyze your current electric bill, identify site placement, and correct solar technology for your home. Contact KCAA producer at gmail.com for a free financial savings proposal with no obligation or call 951-551-1350 and ask for Kim. Again, that's KCAA producer at gmail.com or 951-551-1350. 1350 and ask for Kim. I love how New School is able to help me greatly with my career because they actually have experience working in the field. The greatest thing about New School is the fact that there are so many different disciplines which allows you to really understand and get a good insight into different types of design. I think it's that whole changing mindset of what design can really do for a city and this is kind of the place to be. This environment cultivates creative thinking. Welcome to the Fabulous Lifestyle Radio Show. This is your host, Marie Antoinette Way, and we are here live on KCAA Network. Today is going to be about finance, and I have a wonderful uh, guest. His name is Nestor Morales. Nestor, welcome to the show. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Marie, for having me. Okay, so Nestor, you are 
a, a new member of Fire Up Connect. And I'm very excited to interview you because I'm really interested about your background. So can you just share us exactly where, uh, what your background is in terms of the military and how you ended up doing uh, the business that you're in right now? Sure. I, uh, I'm from Puerto Rico. I was born there. And when I was two, I went to New York. I grew up in New York City in the Bronx. And being in New York City and getting involved with the wrong people, I was seeing myself getting in trouble. Okay. So at 17, I decided to make a decision. With the consent of my mother, I joined the Marine Corps. Wow. I was 17 years old. Changed my life. Best thing I ever did. I served six years in the Marine Corps. My job in the Marine Corps was fuel radio operator communication, basic wiring. I was assigned to a grunt unit and I supported the grunt units in my battalion through communication and air support, tank support. And I was a forward advisor with some officers in the field. So I did six years and uh, honorable discharge. I traveled the world in the Marine Corps. I went to the Philippines, wow. went to J Japan, went to Korea, you know, and I stationed in Okinawa for a year. Uh, that's one thing. I'm a, one of the things in my bucket list. I would like to go back to Okinawa okay. to revisit it. So yes, I discharged in uh, 1984. So I did 80 to 1984. It was a four-year contract, four years active, two years inactive for a total of six. Wow. Wow. Thank you so much for your service. I mean, that Welcome, is amazing. Man. Thank you. And uh, with, with your experience of traveling, that's a lot of great uh, experiences, I bet. Yes, at a very young age, I was in awe about what I saw and what I experienced. It was, it was the best decision I ever made. So when I discharged, uh, I stayed in California for a couple of years, and I decided to go back to New York. And I went back to New York, and I started working as a truck driver and a bartender. And I was working as a truck driver for a company that sold new and used store fixtures. So anytime a major store like CVS, Walgreens, Rite Aid, they would close down. Uh, my company would go in, get contracts with them, and clean out the store. And I would bring all the fixtures back to the store. So I did that for a couple of years. And I, I wanted to get into sales. So anyway... I got into sales and uh, we had a misunderstanding, the owner and I, okay. and I left him. And I took that opportunity to take advantage of the situation. So I opened my own store fixture company. Okay. So, so I was a uh, uh, independent store fixtures in New York City. I became the top, one of the top three store fixtures company in the tri-state area. Wow. Yeah, I did that for five awesome. years. Yeah. By year, so I was very, very ex uh, excited. It was a great job. I had contracts with Walgreens, Rite Aid, CVS. Okay. It was a good job. So then uh, I was going through a divorce at that time. Mm -hmm. So uh, I decided uh, uh, to close the company down because okay. what was happening my divorce. So I shut the company down. I liquidated my assets and I came back to California. Okay. When I was in California, I was watching a PBS special and it was about solar and how solar was being placed on all these commercial properties, supermarkets, Walgreens, and a light bulb lit up in my head. I said, why don't I incorporate a store fixture company with a solar company? So my idea was my company was going to be go green store fixtures. Okay. Unfortunately, I unfortunately, I had no experience in solar. So I was, uh, I was applying for jobs, even though I was a business, ex-business owner and I had all these qualifications, I didn't have any experience. I wasn't able to get a job in the solar business. And then I went to a green, green fair show on mm -hmm. Claremont. And when I went to the fair, I found a position that was called Green Ambassador. Nice title, descriptions, nice, nice description, but basically it was a door knocker to make appointments for the solar salespeople. Okay. I jumped at the opportunity. They had six door knockers doing 12 to 15 sales, I mean, appointments a week. 
I came and started doing six appointments a day. Wow. A day. So the owner of the company saw my talent and he put sent me to he sent me to all the home shows, the Del Mar County Fair show in San Diego. So I went to a lot of home shows and I generated generated a lot of leads for the company. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I told the owner of the company I want to get into commercial sales because I had that idea about go green store fixtures in my head. So he said one day, he said, Nesta, give me 90 appointments in a month and I'll open up a commercial department and I'll train you to run it. So that particular month, I did 93 appointments. 93? In 30 days. In 30 days? So you're looking at uh, how many per day? Uh, I have to average it out. I just, I just know. Crazy. Crazy. Yeah. yeah. So... Uh, I did, I accomplished my goal and a month went by and I didn't hear anything about the commercial. Mm -hmm. Another month went by, I didn't hear anything about the commercial. Then the owner comes out in a meeting and says, hey, I want to introduce you to Mr. So-and-so and so he's going to run the commercial department. So obviously I was disappointed okay. and, I was, and I became disgruntled or disgruntled employee, but I stayed with the company and I kept doing what I was doing. I was generating leads. I was very good at it. I, I am still good at it. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, I was at the show for the company. The company then was called Solar Innovations. So I went to the show for them and I was in my booth and about two, three booths down, I saw this tall gentleman, 300 pounds, 6'5", six, 6'6", and he was standing in his booth and he was like this, very intimidating. Okay. Right? <laughs> so I kept doing what I was doing, right? I was making the appointments. When it slowed down, I didn't realize that he was looking at me. So when it slowed down, he called me over and he says, hey, how many appointments do you have for the day? Oh, I got so much. And he says, I'm looking for somebody like you. I says, I'm trying to get into sales. And somebody trained me and he gave me his business card. His name was Brian Mulholland. Okay. When I met Brian Mulholland, he was already in business 20 years doing electrical work. He was a certified electrician. Okay. When I met him, he was in his first year that he opened up the solar department and he opened it up because that was when the housing market went down back in a uh, 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 couple of years ago and, uh, and he needed to do something different to stay in business. So he opened up a solar company. He was doing it for a year when I came in. I was his first energy consultant. And, up to, and that was 11 years ago. Okay. And, he, and, and up to this day, he is still my friend. Wow. He showed me everything about solar. All the technical aspects of it. He sent me to Sub Power School. He was a Sub Power authorized dealer. That's the panel that I sell. And through him... I became a some power expert. Wow. That's so for 11 years, I was working with him. And uh, in, two, in 2000, when I was doing the shows, I realized there was a market that was not being serviced. Because when, when you're at the show, my job is to talk to people and generate leads. Hey, have you ever seen, got into solar before? And people would tell me, my bill is too low. I would like to get it, but it's too expensive. Mm -hmm. And I kept seeing that pattern. I kept seeing it. And I told Brian, I was talking to Brian, I said, Brian, I believe there's a market that's not being serviced. So that's when I opened accessible solar and energy storage. I and Brian Mulholland, Mulholland Electric became my partner with my company. Wow. So, was, so where is your office now? In Spring Valley. In Spring Valley. That's and, correct. Uh, Okay, so, and you said that you also have one in Mexico, am I right? That is correct. Okay. That is correct. So I am a SunPower authorized dealer in California. Actually, I can sell to about 25 states. Mm -hmm. And I'm a SunPower authorized dealer in Tijuana, Mexico. Okay. Now, um, let me ask you this question. So being in the military for many years, and going into the solar business. Do you think there, there are a lot of things about being in the military that uh, drove you into this type of business? 
I mean, quality. the military, the military taught me discipline. Okay. Okay. Uh, structure. Set a goal that's attainable and accomplish it. I tell you, Marie, if it wasn't for the Marine Corps, I don't know where I would be today. So I'm also a member of a five star veterans coalition. I sit on the board of five star veterans and I volunteer my time and I always work with the VA. I used to be in the VA outreach program in San Diego and we used to go downtown San Diego and talk to the veterans. My particular responsibility is to give them the information. Mm -hmm. Sometimes some of them are not ready, you know, and you can't change that. What's the saying? You could take a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. That's how it is with some of the veterans in, in, that are homeless. So I give them my card and I tell them, whenever you're ready, call me. There's resources for you to get yourself out of this situation. And I'd be more than happy to pick you up and take it to the VA hospital to start. Wow. That is incredible, um, Nestor. Very, very uh, pleased to have met you at one of the events in San Diego because you were very, uh, you were very uh, friendly, and uh, right away you actually offered me to uh, check out Mexico because I did tell you that I haven't been in Mexico. <laughs> Yeah, I was surprised. <laughs> I know. And it was really interesting how you uh, opened that opportunity up without any hesitation. And it's it's very nice to to meet people like you that, you know, it's just like opening doors for people with no um, with no hesitation or no doubts at all. I really, really appreciate that about you, Nestor. Now, um, since you, you see a lot of great things about the business and you also share that to a lot of people and you're also helping a lot of the veterans, I mean, what are the things that you, where you see yourself in the business in, a, I would say, in a couple of years from now on? My goal, uh, because I started late with this business, is uh, to, be, to be financially independent and retire in five years. My goal. Um, I, I have uh, I have eight grandkids. Eight grandkids. And I have <laughs> big family. One, uh, yeah, and I have one great granddaughter. Okay. And I have a son and a daughter. I have two kids. Okay. And between the two, they've made a large family. So my inspiration and my vision is to leave something for them. Okay, I see. So, so I'm hoping that my son will take over the business when I want to retire. Okay. Now, what do you, uh, what are the kind of people that you look for to be a part of your business? Is it just, um, can it be anyone? I mean, are you looking for a specific qualification or, you know, qualities in, in person? In this particular business, people have to like you. Okay. And, and, and not only like you, they have to feel they can trust you. So I've been told I'm a very likable person. I've been told that I seem like a very trustworthy person. I have a lot of integrity. So those are the qualities that I look for. Okay, I see. So that is really good to know because again, you know, we're in the, you're in the people's business. And I think, you know, talking to most of your clients are homeowners, am I right? Or That's correct. I, as of right now, I have three different markets, residential, commercial, and off-grid. Oh, okay. So you're also helping um, not just the homeowners. You're also helping a lot of the business owners that have. That is, that is correct. I have, okay. a couple of, I have a couple of HOA installs in San Diego County. Okay. What do you mean by off-grid? Off-grid is not connected to the electric company. Not connected to the electric company. Uh, so can you give us an example of what that is? Yeah. You have your solar panels and you need batteries. The solar panel will charge the batteries and the batteries will char you know, service the house and give electricity. So it's not connected to STNG. There's no meter. You know, uh, when you do batteries, you have to be very careful how you consume it. You have to change how you consume electricity because depending on the battery, they drain very fast and they're very expensive and the technology is not there. Okay. So basically it's an off-grid system uh, uh, 
the whole house can be powered and just by using batteries. Okay. Well, um, let's take a commercial break, Nestor. Uh, I have a few more questions for you. And uh, for the listeners out there, please don't go away. We will be right back. Fire Up Connect is the most innovative business networking group. Supporting and collaborating with a dozen of small businesses that are interested in building and establishing strong business connections. Hosting educational live seminars while carrying out business and community driven projects, as well as marketing programs as a part of its membership program. Fire Up Connect also offers virtual assistance with a wide range of services including, inbound customer support, chat support, appointment setting and email management, graphic designing video editing, web design and development, social media marketing, e-commerce solution, content writing and much more. For more information, head on over to www.fireupconnect.com. Fire Up Connect, helping success stories unfold every day. The toughest part in the lending process is patience. Like I tell all my clients, once you get those keys in hand, it'll all be worth it. Everything that they said they were gonna do, they did. I saved so much money working with First Lending Solutions. I love my new house. I couldn't be happier. So reach out to me at First Lending Solutions so I can help you get started. You can contact Dafina Miller with First Lending Solutions at 951-973-0123, DafinaMillerMortgage.com. Hi, this is Steve Matley. As a construction professional, I know the importance of selecting the right contractor for the job. Power Solar employs only professional installers. Power Solar will provide a knowledgeable consultant to help analyze your current electric bill, identify site placement, and correct solar technology for your home. Contact kcaaproducer at gmail.com for a free financial savings proposal with no obligation or call 951 951- 551-1350 and ask for Kim. Again, that's KCAA producer at gmail.com or 951-551-1350 and ask for Kim. I love how New School is able to help me greatly with my career because they actually have experience working in the field. The greatest thing about New School is the fact that there are so many different disciplines which allows you to really understand and get a good insight into different types of design. And I think it's that whole changing mindset of what design can really do for a city and this is kind of the place to be. This environment cultivates creative thinking. All right, welcome back to the Fabulous Lifestyle Radio Show. This is uh, your host, Marie Anthony Waite. And from our last segment, we were interviewing Nestor Morales, who has a solar company business. And Nestor, so um, uh, quickly, what would be the best thing you can share to people about the, um, about the solar company that you have? Sure. Uh, my mission statement is leave no one behind. Uh, some power uh, accessible solar energy storage is to educate the consumer so they can make the right decision for something that's so it's expensive and can go on top and that goes on top of your house. But even though the pricing might be high for the people that have large bills, large electricity bills, two or three, four hundred bucks a month, uh, I want to focus on the people that have electric bills of seventy-five, eighty, ninety dollars a month. Because those are the people that I met at the home shows that feel that they cannot go solar because their bill is too low. That's not the case anymore. I can show them that if your bill is $90 a month, I can put you in a solar system for $45 a month. And you own your electricity, your property value increases, there's nothing out of pocket. It's a win-win situation for those types of homeowners. That is awesome. Well, Nestor, I think this is also a very good information for people out there that looking for ways to make some, uh, save some money from their electricity and also to even become a business opportunity for them. Am I right, Nestor? That is correct. Okay. And uh, it's good for people, especially the, the listeners right now. We're talking about having a fabulous lifestyle. You definitely want to make sure you connect with Nestor Morales because I think he has a, an amazing uh, platform for you to be able to uh, change your lifestyle. 
Now, Nestor, what is the best way for them to get a hold of you if they are inquiring for more information? Sure. My website is AccessibleSolarSD.com. Uh, this is information on the website. My phone number is 619-636-1905. You can find me on Facebook under Nesto Rafael Morales, and you can find me on LinkedIn. Okay. What is the phone number again? If you can repeat it uh, for a second time. 619-636-1905. Okay, great. Well, Nestor, that is such an amazing time uh, with you today. Uh, again, you know, we wanted to make sure that we are providing good information to our listeners uh, here at the KCAA radio with the Fabulous Lifestyle Radio. And Nestor, we would like to at least, you know, have you again in our future show. I think that would be awesome, right? That is correct. Yeah, and <laughs> I want to go to Mexico. I want to check it out, and we could probably do some live interviews there. Absolutely, absolutely. The seafood is great. I know some great restaurants. I'd be more than happy to uh, take you there. Yeah, I heard the seafood, and I'm like crazy about seafood. <laughs> oh, we got to go, Marie. <laughs> yeah, I think, you know, all, all of you guys, you know, if you want to go to Mexico, check out with Nestor, too. I think yeah. Nestor yeah, will be a good tour. Right. Yeah, we can go as a group. We can go to the restaurants, uh, the wine valleys. They got wine valleys over there. Uh, yeah, we can do a lot of things in Mexico. And so now that gives me an idea, Nestor, that we should do some sort of a trip, you know, with a group trip uh, where we can go to Mexico and enjoy, um, you know, the uh, the area and also learn more about your business. I think that would be a cool deal to do. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. All right. I think it is. Okay, well, thank you so much for your time and for all the information. I, again, I would like to have you back again. And uh, this is uh, the Fabulous Lifestyle Radio. I'm your host, Marie Antoinette Wait, and make sure that you listen to us every, uh, every Sunday at 3 o'clock p.m. Um, that is the Fabulous Lifestyle Radio. Fire Up Connect uh, show is also on uh, Sunday at 2 o'clock p.m. And we have Real Men in Real Estate that starts at 1 o'clock p.m. So make sure you tune in on KCA Radio, and thank you again for listening. Welcome to the Fabulous Lifestyle Radio Show, where we talk about food, fashion, finance, and foundations of life. We are live on KCAA Radio Broadcasting Network, 1050 AM, 102.3 and 106.5 FM. KCAA is affiliated with CNBC, NBC News, and NBC Sports. We are sponsored by Sheltered Studios, Fire Connect and Building Solid Foundation. Talk 102.3 FM R R Riverside, KCAA, NBC Radio News.com.